What's up there, beautiful people, and welcome to another edition of Just Trending News. Today, we're speaking about our president's latest cabinet reshuffle. For me personally, I don't think that um, there was not, there was anything that he did that I thought was completely out of the ordinary or anything that he did that really surprised me. But it seems as though everyone is really shocked or surprised by the fact that um, the latest cabinet reshuffle has seen Ulindi Wesi Sulu being booted out of cabinet. And honestly, for me, I just I expected it. Uh, firstly, Ulindi Wisusulu has been very vocal about his her, sorry, non-supportance of all President Cyril Ramaphosa. And she's even gone as far as to speak about matters of him being re-elected for um, presidency of the ANC. Obviously, she is really not um, all President Cyril Ramaphosa's biggest supporter. And I think it's safe to say that she has been a thorn on his side for the longest at time because she's been very vocal about basically not liking him. So with this cabinet reshuffle, um, I think that everything that could have happened went as expected. It was expected for our president to um, remove all the people that he deems as a thorn in his side of the people that are not really supportive of him. As in my personal opinion, I think that the president does really rule his cabinet with an iron fist. Um, so it was really expected. In terms of who she was um, replaced with, she was replaced with Patricia DeLille. I really forgot. Patricia DeLille is, um, she's a colored woman. Um, and I'm not saying this because of her skin color, but for me, honestly, I I really don't see the significance of moving her uh, from being minister of, I forgot what she was minister of, to now being minister, our new minister of tourism. I think that in my opinion, he has just replaced one incompetent minister with another incompetent minister. I don't really know how she's been performing in her um in her ministry, but I, I don't think that she's been doing anything that's sort of um, amazing. And honestly, when it comes to my opinion with um, Elindi Wesisulu being removed, I'm really happy about it. You know, it's just as for me, if you are, and I think I covered the story, but a lot of people don't really watch a political videos on this channel, but I still like speaking about it anyways. But if you go back to a video that I released on Elindi Wesisulu, if you are, or if there are plans in your department to release a billion rands worth of funds to basically um, have Tottenham Hotspur, which is an English soccer club, influence or support tourism. And you say you've got no recollection, no recollection of this. You don't know why this has happened. You didn't even know that there were plans to move a billion rands and to pay these people a billion rands to drive tourism into the country. Then you deserve to be axed. I mean, a billion rands is a lot of money for the entire minister of tourism to say, I actually had no cooking clue that this was in the works. It doesn't matter if you've held office for a week, uh, for five days, for even a day. If there's a plan in motion or proposal in motion to release a billion rand from your ministry's budget, you should know about it. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you think in the comment section and I will see you in my next upload. Goodbye, lovelies.